Welcome to my YouTube. <laughs> like I'm getting used to this YouTube thing, you know, and it's exciting. I love it. <laughs> you know, since 2021, you've been asking me for this particular gist. As you all know, or many of you know, because I know we're, we are getting a lot of new subscribers and viewers right now. In the past, before 2021, my boobies were way bigger than this. <laughs> way bigger. Right now, I'm a double D. I used to be a K. That, yeah, that's huge. And I know many of you have been asking me, Ife, how did you do it? I'm going to give you the full gist today. This gist I'm about to give you. I know some of you will need it because you also want to do it. I know some of you just want to hear gist. You know how you people are. First thing I want you to know is that boobies reduction that I did was first and foremost, and I'm being honest with you because it was just too big for me. I like, I know I used to complain in a very funny way on Diary of an Agile Girl on Instagram about how my back hurt. You know, all of those things. It's true. My frame is quite small for that huge. So this is my boobs before I did it, right? And now here we are. <laughs> so, I mean, I packed it so well. People were like, if I didn't, it's not that big. It, it, yeah, it, it was huge. It was huge. And it wasn't from a place for me of... Oh, uh, I just wanted to wear Iwoko, which I wanted to, but that's not the first reason. The first reason was it hurts my back. It hurt me. I couldn't sleep on my chest. Ay, man, you guys, it was very uncomfortable. I mean, I did it at the age of 2021, uh, 37, I think, 38. I did it at the age of 28, 38. And so for you to know that I had thought about it, thought about it since I was like 22 when my boobs were already bigger than my frame. I was thinking about, should I do this? Should I not do this? And you know what? I just realized at some point, like, why not? You can do it. What, is, what exactly is stopping you? And I had people, especially my ex at the time said, don't do it. But you know that one is just self. You just like, you just want to be seeing big breasts. <laughs> but I was like, I have to do this. I have to do this. So I went ahead and contacted a doctor. And, you know, we took it from there. And the first thing the doctor said really was, why do you want to do this? I really liked that question. And I said, look, he helped me. I said, yes, I can see, like, you're, you're quite on the slim side. And this is, this is a lot, you know. Of, of course, many women like that size. But I personally, it was just a lot for me. I went ahead and we booked consultations. Um, I took pictures, sent over, then I went, you know, to the doctor to do it. And uh, I must say first, guys, that boob reduction is not cheap. The reason I'm not going to tell you my doctor is because I really don't want to be responsible for anything. We all know how these things are. Surgery is not something you just wake up and decide to do. It's not easy at all. It's, it's risky. So that's why I wish I could tell you, you know I can share anything with you guys, but this one I wish I could tell you, but I can't because I, I don't want to be responsible for that, right? First thing I did when I got to the hospital was, you know, they, they, you know when they put me on the thing, was it the, the, the bed, and they were trying to roll me out, like... I was, I wanted to change my mind right there. Like, if I, why, why do you need to do this? But at the time, you know, we're already there. So let's go. So I went ahead and the doctor asked me, what size of boobies do you want? Ah, ladies and gentlemen, I thought to myself, wait, how small can I go? <laughs> In real life. <laughs> I also thought, mm, I don't want small boobies, right? Let me balance it and say a double D. Remember, you remember this thing I said later in the video. I said I wanted what? Double D. We went into the, into the theater. Of course, you know how they'll give you anesthesia and then you, you just don't know when you sleep off. I don't know. I can't even remember when I slept off. I shall, I shall, I shall I did not see the, the, 
the theater. I didn't say it. It just, we just, it just happened. And then that happened. I woke up after the whole thing and my boobies felt really heavy. I'm like, what? did you people do anything <laughs> to this breast? Because what was going on here? Why, why, why does this thing look be so big? Said, oh, it's just swollen. It's to come down and all of that. Uh, what I want you to know is that the pain from breast reduction doesn't only hurt on your breasts. It hurts on your armpit, your upper top stomach as well is painful. You can't, like, it's not something that I can really explain, but I can just tell you really that it is really painful. People have asked me, oh, does, um, do you still get sense, sense your, does your nipple have sensation? At the beginning, that was the least of my problems because I was in pain. You can't sleep, you know, on your stomach and that's understandable. Because not really, I didn't even used to sleep on my stomach before because my movies were too big. But then coming out of, of, of that theater, I saw that I, I was in so much pain. I won't even lie. And the, the, the bra that they would give you was a, like a hospital bra. So you can zip it for them to be able to clean it and then zip it back. It was really, it was really painful, guys. And at the end of the day, I told myself at that moment, did it worth it? <laughs> did it? This pain, did it worth it? Because it didn't worth it. Because the boobies were still big. Like, so what, what did I go through all of this pain for? And the doctor kept telling me, calm down. It will, it's just swollen. But even if something is swollen, it should be this swollen now. I said, it's swollen. It will calm down. Because this looks like a big swollen boobs. Anyway, so then when I started feeling a little better, maybe the next day, and I started tapping my nipples. <laughs> like, hello, is this, this still working? Because, you know, and fortunately, yes, my nipples, from the second day, I felt serious, serious sensation. So the nipple works. I know that's one of the major questions. You probably asking me, asking me, it does work, okay? And one of the things I also noticed is that I went and bought bras too soon. The doctor told me, if I wait six months before you get a bra, I said, no. Like, even though I didn't even want to wear any bra, normally, <laughs> on a normal day. <laughs> but, you know, there are some things I had to wear that, you know, you know, I would need to wear, you know, some sort of bra. And I, had to, and I went to buy bra way earlier, like maybe from three months or even two months self. Um, when it comes to healing, I must also say that I kind of, I healed quite fast because, you know, they'll tell you take care of it, clean it and all those things. So I really did heal fast. Scarring, there is definitely scarring. It doesn't bother me at all <laughs> because the weight literally off my chest. You guys, you don't even want to know. Like I said, initially it felt like it was really big. Gradually, the swelling reduced so much that I'm now a double D. And you can't see me doing this. You know, there was a, when I had really big boobs, nothing was comfortable. Nothing. Like, no matter how amazing my bra was, it just, my back just really, I can't remember the last time I did that. I really can't remember the last time I did that. So, like I was saying, I bought... A bra too soon i didn't wait for the swelling to really really go down all the bras i bought at three months i can't wear them anymore right now i bought so then i was i bought like a, an e e f double e f at the time i can't wear them anymore <laughs> because they are big now i feel like at the end of the day we must decide for ourselves not what the internet says not what the world thinks what is best for us and we can not all just go flying off and doing surgeries <laughs> anytime we want to do it no i really honestly don't advise that but i just wanted you to know that this is my process what happened with me i'm very 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 happy that i did it and i cannot you know emphasize it enough that 
if you don't need to do it, please don't. If you do need to do it, get the best doctor that there is. Don't risk your life out there. Here I am today, like living my life and enjoying it. So guys, really, that's the gist for all of you that have been asking me for gist. That's the gist. And truly, I must tell you that you must be well informed. Please, 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 I'm begging. Be well informed. Read. Like, I read everything. I, I asked so many questions. I was on the phone with the doctor almost every day before I traveled to say, tell me more, tell me again. I would go to YouTube, watch people who have done this, read reviews, you know, things like that because information is key. Share this video to those who may need it. Comment in this, uh, comment and tell me what you think and subscribe. It did work. It did work. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Later. Okay. I have to do it again.